Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's videos. One of my all-time, all-time, all-time favorite muscle cars here at Fleming's Ultimate Garage. We've had thousands come through here. This thing is so bad, A, I gotta tell you what, we're gonna walk around when done with the video. If you're not writing checks, wiring money, figuring out a way to get this in your life, check yourself, you're dead. Just check yourself real quick, make sure you're not dead, okay? This thing is badass, and not only is it badass, it's got a drivability that is off the hook like a modern type driving car with ridiculously good lines. I mean, look at this thing, man. All right, so let's start with a couple things here. This car has so much stuff on it. It's got two hanging tags worth of equipment on it. I might even have to read a little bit off here. I apologize, I can't remember all this stuff when you're a burned out old guy like myself. We barely remember our names in the morning, let alone all of this fine, fine equipment. So come on up here for a second. I wanna show you a couple small things. All right, check out the metallic paint of this car. Now keep in mind, this car is a magazine cover car, all right? So uh, it's moss green, and these are clear coated over, and uh, the stripes here are uh, sunlit gold stripes. I had to look real quick on the paper, sorry about that, because I love the color name of that, man. Sunlit gold metallic stripe. Full Shelby package on here with the hood, uh, the side scoops, all of this done properly in here. You know, the extensions are on here, the grill. Most people don't know that this whole package, I've done a couple of these cars, just the body kit alone on these cars can run around seven or $8,000 just for the kit. Not to mention the, the hours and hours it takes to massage it on, mold it in, get it all done. I mean, it is a lot, a lot of work. And I have to tell you what, I stopped doing it because it was so much work. Uh, so this is the best way to get it when it's already done like this. Anyway, so a couple uh, uh, really awesome features about it is since we already know that this is not uh, you know, a matching numbers GT500, they take it to the next level. Like check this stuff out. Bare brakes in here. The brake system alone is probably in the $4,000 range. Cut cross drilled and slotted rotors to let the gases out. This thing stops like you would not believe. So you say, well, okay, great, it stops and it has a lot of go power because it's a 428 and it's got an upgraded transmission. But what about handling? Well, that's a very good question because here we've gone to 17 inch wheels, right? Instead of the standard 15 inch wheels at a high uh, sidewall. Anyway, great looking 17 inch polished lip, Shelby 10 spoke wheel. Um, it just looks really, really nice. This nice call out on the side here. So you know there's a little something, something under the hood. Maybe that could deter a few people from messing with you. Maybe not. How are you doing? All right, so let's check under here for a second because this is what I want you guys to see. Check out this stuff. This is a really, really expensive stuff on a car. For instance, that's rack and pinion steering. No sloppy steering box, tubular control arms, Cobra pan, oil filter right there. I changed the oil and I ordered a Motorcraft filter because I like to keep it kind of Ford stuff, you know? All right, so we got big brakes back here as well as matching uh, cross-drilled and slotted rotors. Again, the 17 inch rims. And then check out this back in here. Look at this, man, it's got the big nine inch back there. Look at the suspension's all done. It's all tied together. The frame, the rear end, the rear end is tied in separately. The frame is all tied together as well. That's why this car drives so well. Keep in mind too, this car is featured in a magazine. The magazines come with it, restoration stuff. I mean, it was a lot, a lot of money spent, not to mention years of work. Uh, they're talking now to duplicate a car like this could be in the eighty dollars to $100,000 range. And since we do this all the time, uh, they could easily be right. All right, let's take a peek under the hood for a minute because uh, this is where it really shines. I love hood pins, man. Hood pins are still one of the greatest muscle car uh, things out there. All right, cool. As you look at this, you go, wow, this looks really shiny and looks really nice. But the truth is, it does look really shiny and really nice, but there's a lot of things on it that make it uh, expensive parts so that they're durable, they last. And what you wanna do is have that experience when you're driving this car, that it runs cool, handles well, stops well. You can cruise in it, like this thing was built to dry. This isn't built to like pull out of the trailer uh, and just sit there and look beautiful like I am. Okay, you can stop your laughing. But anyway, here's what I mean by that. Come on over and I'll show you. Like check out the size of this radiator. The original radiator was about this big here, which is the same size here as an air conditioning condenser. So this one is super big, awfully thick, Huge fan inside here, okay? Polished air conditioning compressor, all right? Here's your power steering right here. Look at this, it has a remote reservoir uh, that's hand welded, which I love the look of a hand weld still. It's still a great, anybody who can do that is really very, very talented, okay? Certain things that we forget to ask about, like horns, turn signals, uh, uh, all kinds of uh, small ancillary devices that make a normal car 
uh, an easy car to drive in this case of this car here because it's a show car did it have all that stuff well this does have all that stuff and that's why you can drive it 428 cubic inch engine it's got a, uh, a dyno sheet with it 439 horsepower at the rear wheels which puts it right around 500 horsepower uh, at the crank so and it's an easy easy 500 too so it's not stressed out at all it doesn't have this huge camshaft that it won't idle it idles beautifully sounds great and just rolls on down the road and the overdrive transmission as you uh, work the shifter is really nice especially on the highway for these long cruises i talked about and that's why once we get inside you'll see uh, another probably uh, uh, 15 to 20,000 was spent on to get it ready. All right, so around here, we got this cool little billet prop rod. Um, I can put it on there for you, but we put hood springs on instead this time, just so that it would be able to stay up. Uh, it's got the strut power brace. It's got the Monte Carlo bar. It's got this cool Cobra uh, air cleaner there. And you got a lot of motor, Shelby grill. That's the cool man. When you open the hood here, everybody's like, whoa. So it's hard not to. Okay. Pin these closed. I always do this because you know what, man, you forget to do this one day, even though this has a safety in it, which is nice because a lot of people who put hood pins on cars don't put the safety catch in either. This does have both, thank goodness. But it's just by habit because some people don't build it this way. All right, you know, these cars have an awesome back end. And again, here's what we're talking about. All the work that goes into getting this Shelby package put on. Custom uh, uh, trunk lid, these extensions, the right tail panel that goes back here the Shelby cap, the stripes that run underneath, the balance panel with the giant pipes. All right, so anyway, so this looks awesome in itself. Let's say you wanted to go to a show. Let's just say you wanted to go to a show. And let's just say maybe you were a little bored, right? Let's say there were like 50 hot, beautiful people wanting to start a dance party or whatever. And you know what? Nobody can get that started except you. And I'm gonna tell you why. How you do it. All right, come and check this out. DVD screen here, DVD player up front. Look at the trunk of this thing. This is nicer than some people's living rooms. It's nicer than my living room, maybe not yours, but check this out. All molded in leather, leather in here, leather side panels. This car has a navigation in it. Here's a six CD changer. Even this, this is how ridiculous this car is. Even the battery box was covered in leather. Come on, man. Who does that? Who covers the battery box in leather? Whatever. Anyway, that's why I say to you, if this car doesn't turn you on, check your pulse. Before we move to the inside of the car, I wanted to show you the package shelf. Like, check this out, man. This is really, really well done. Here we are in the cockpit. All right, check this out. So we got a full length console here. I love these seat belts. The seat belts alone, Shelby Cobra, right? Okay. Console has lights custom-made floor mats with the binding that matches the leather here. I need Justin to come in here for a second because what I'm getting ready to tell you is almost unbelievable. But until you see it, that's why that's why the video is so important, man. You can look at these pictures online and these pro touring cars and things like that and they look great and everything. But until you see the attention to detail like what's in here, you just don't get it. For instance, check this headliner out. This is suede. The visors are covered in suede. The dash is covered in suede. Check out the billet vents that actually pivot. Do you know what these vents are? Just the vents. Even the door panels down there, billet down there, billet uh, door handles, all tan leather in here, billet power window switches, you know, and the car's on. I mean, just like, just nice. Like, check this out. I mean, how cool is that that you're just cruising along? They just dropped the window. How are you doing? Oh, what's this? Oh, I. Sorry, am I showing off at this point? I'm sorry. You got the stereo in here. I believe this has navigation. Uh, that needs to be turned on. It's got the CD in the back. Uh, just, I mean, I don't know, man. This is just amazing. And I love this too, because like the frame of the radio is painted to match the interior of the car. This three-spoke Modalita steering wheel is just really, really nice. You can actually adjust the brakes right here if you wanted a little more front brake or a little more rear brake you can adjust that right here this has the phantom gauges you can actually change the color of the gauges if you want to it's a full set of uh, autometer phantom gauges and just it goes on and on the air conditioning is put into the factory system right here so you can't really see it speakers are buried down in there and the grills are painted to match the interior I'm rambling on and on about stuff, but I'm rambling on because I want you to see what it takes to do all this. You know, you say, well, what's the big deal about that? Well, 
The big deal about that is, you know, I'm sure you forgot to paint the, the speakers because you didn't do it when you were doing the interior. So you take it out, send it to somebody, get them painted and color matched, and then put them back in. They got tweeters buried up in there, mid ranges back there, subwoofer back there. And I'm sure from reading this thing here that I'm forgetting some, some I don't even know what I'm forgetting. There's so much stuff in here, I'm just whatever. Actually, I'm doing a really good job, quite honestly. I'm super proud of myself. For as burned out as I am, this is rolling really nicely. Anyway, so enough of my rambling. How about we do this? Uh, let's give it the old, uh, see if it'll even start, because I love the shifter too. Check out what the shifter ball says. Do you guys see that? 428, how you doing? Damn, it started. Listen to that, man, that's a flow master. Nice. Closing up the video on this car here, we talked about so much. Uh, I was going to run down it real quick. Just the interior alone, I believe the receipts were somewhere around $16,000 uh, to do this interior. That's the price of some of the cars we sell here, right? The 428, the fact that it's got uh, a five speed TKO uh, that we didn't talk about transmission in it. Uh, we got the nine inch with Posi, we have air conditioning, we have the total control suspensions, rack and pinion steering and uh, tubular control arms. I mean, that system alone cost me around 35 to 4,000 by the time I'm all done, just the steering part. We didn't talk about the brakes, uh, the price on that, probably another four grand. So you can easily see how this, uh, and, and we're not talking about installation, we're talking about buying the pieces. How these cars get to be 80 and 100,000 dollars and why this car here is such an awesome, awesome deal. Spare yourself three years, 80 to 100 grand, Find a way to get this car in your life. You could be driving it next week, uh, or you could be driving it tomorrow if you want. I mean, it is a spectacular car. Anyway, 68 Shelby GT500, uh, just badass show car. Call us, 301-816-1000, and we'll tell you all about it.